Tiedemann's Law of Sex. When it comes to sex and sexual relationships, absolutely nothing makes sense. People are not reasonable about it because it's pure impulse. It's what makes you feel good. It's what makes you feel like the person you want to be. It's, it's the thing that drives you, and there is the Darwinian impulse behind it. And it's the room that we have designated for all of the stuff that we're not willing to talk about. Um, I'm a science fiction writer. So I've read a lot of science fiction. There have actually been examples of science fiction in which writers have attempted to shift that room. Uh, they've made it eating, food customs. People in certain of these, these concocted cultures, people eat in private or only with their significant other. Public eating is obscene. And when you wind that toy up and let it go, you find that all the neuroses that have nothing directly to do with that, end up accruing to it. That's what we've done with sex. We've decided that we're not going to talk about sex because, you know, it's, it's just not polite and all that. All the other things we don't want to talk about end up attached to sex, which is what Freud probably quite accurately, in spite of the flaws in Freud, his observation about sex as being a fundamental to neuroses, it's probably accurate because that's the decision that we made. Um, we're screwed up about sex because we don't want to admit that we just want to have a good time. We're screwed up about sex because we don't know what it means afterwards. Uh, there are people probably going through their whole lives from one one night stand to another who never feel satisfied by it, but they can't stop themselves and they wonder why they always feel so rotten, but they're not going to talk about it because it's fun. Um, sex is, is anybody that, that, that has questions about why we're screwed up about sex should watch all five seasons or seven seasons of Sex and the City because I have never seen more frank and open discussions about all of the hang-ups of sex than in that show. It's, it's, at one point or another, they deal with every single foible. And it's, it's instructive. Um, we know that sex draws people together and that it is more than a physical thing. People's feelings get dragged into it. We don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. So we second-guess each other constantly, third-guess each other constantly. We try to assume what the other person wants or doesn't want, and we never ask. And... You, you, we could go on with this explanation forever. Sex just makes no sense. Is it ever consensual sex, and I wrote a post about this, where sex must be consensual. But what I mean by consensual is not what most people mean by consensual. There, have, there are a, a host of considerations that have to be dragged into that. But if you have two people of equal personal power and it's a level playing field, and they're adults. Now, I will quibble about the adult designation because everybody knows people who are in their 40s or 50s who are really not adults. And we've all met people who are under 18 who are wise beyond their years. But we have decided as a society that the age of adulthood is 18 and over. If that's what you want to do, and I don't have a problem with that, because everybody agrees. And this is the thing that gets overlooked by a lot of people when it comes to this stuff. As long as everybody agrees, and we're not making special cases for certain people over here and certain people over here, and we're going to give them a privilege and take the privilege away from them, that's when you get into hang-ups. So everybody agrees. We've decided that 18, you're an adult. It's never immoral. I think morality when it comes to sex is now when it comes to doing damage and hurting people that's something else but that requires some self-knowledge that most people don't have the time or willingness to uh, develop you know how do you know when you're going to hurt somebody how do you know when you ought to walk away that's called maturity um, that's called morality but it's got nothing to do with sex it's got to do with what kind of damage you're willing to do to get something for yourself.